Figured we continue on in Wario Land. For a little bit anyway. And I was kind of itching to play another RPG. Just don't know what yet. Switch that over there. Yes. There we go. Chat box and the alert box up there. Bring him down a little more. There we go. Alrighty. Kind of feeling a little out of it today. Hasn't exactly been a busy day for me. Just, ugh, just feeling bleh. Must have ate something wrong or something. So where we left off, we're now at the SSD cup. We've got a good portion of the treasures. Course 26. that. Treasure Eye? A, I think that's a knife. <laughs> it's either a knife or a banana or some type of fruit. <laughs> There we go. I have to let the cat out. 
Oh, there's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> just now. not a very big area. Might get this done real quick. Oh, 
A football. <laughs> Could also be like an egg or something. fix that. into the next area. Parsley Woods. Course 31. I'll do this one and then we'll move on to another game. Oh, <laughs> 
hat and be able to address those things. Uh, there's a key. Ah, oh, there we go. Get that. second here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I was kind of mood, kind of in the mood to play another RPG. Uh, let's see here. So 
from the RPG and the Super NES category that I want to try out. As if I have anything, though. <laughs> save that one for some other day. Oh. Or no, no, let's, let's do that. Okay. I uh, got what we can figure out here. Pause that for a sec. <laughs> to capture that and I figure I will can I will now start uh, playing uh, the dot hack ps2 games yeah because I I want to get into those now let's see here I'm going to resume. I want the game capture. Oh, okay, it's already getting it. Good. Hit the screen. We have new mail. trippy opening this game has. There we go. I'll also look at the options real quick. Pretty sure I get all this configured properly. <laughs> story about this that um, that uh, oh, what was it a couple months a couple months ago back uh, last year I say October November I decided to rewatch dot hack sign the anime and as I was watching that anime uh, I, I then realized that I never got into the whole dot hack uh, uh, the other dot hack stuff like the video games and and then I found out there was another anime and and uh, there were some movies a couple of those and 
such. I only I've only seen Dot Hack, and I've never read any novels or manga or anything that was part of it. So I figured I'd try to get into it by playing the uh, video games after watching Dot Hack sign. Yeah. So we're gonna, just going to start this off with uh, the first one, Infection. Which I will say that I had I did play this off stream a couple months ago just to get an idea of how the game is. So uh, I may I do know kind of know what I'm doing in this one, but I haven't played the other three. So we'll start a new game. Der Mann des Schattens, auf der Suche nach dem Abedrachen, ist noch nicht zurückgekommen. Der Herd der Finsternis grollt. Helba, Königin der Finsternis, stellt schließlich ein Heer auf. Alparon, König des Lichts, grüßt sie. Und sie treffen sich am Fuße des Regenbogens. Die verfluchte Welle muss gemeinsam bekämpft werden. Der See von Alba brodelt. Der große Baum des Lichts fällt. Alle Macht zerfällt zu Tropfen im Tempel von Arche Köln. Wesen ohne Schatten, ihre Welt zerfällt zu nichts. Der Mann des Schattens auf der Suche nach dem Abenddrachen kehrt niemals mehr zurück. Okay, user registration is done. Now for a name. Yasuhiko's probably already there waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Cool. So at this point we get to change our name. Well, we get to have a username. I'm going to keep the character names for uh, continuity reasons. I'm going to call, put in my good old name here. Oh, whoop, not that one. I'll put in the whole name, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah, and we're going to keep the default character name of Kite. Please enjoy the world. So here's the... The ultimate uh, OS. This is where most of the part of the game takes place. It's basically an operating system. Okay, we'll these mails here. This is from Yasuhiko. Hey, did you finish registering? What kind of character are you? Oh, like I said at school, you'll regret it if you use a smart-ass name. I'm Orcut in the world, so keep that in mind. Don't call me by my real name. You can be a different person when you're there. Well, more like the guy you want to be. Anyway, I'll be at the town. Thank you for registering. This is a notification email to complete the registration process. The world. The games compromise several servers. Adventure begins by inputting codes of chaos gates and root towns, which are located in each of the servers. Uh, first server is the Delta server root town, Aqua Capital Mac Anu, which means Son of the Goddess. There are waterways for the town, and the sounds of the scenery will bring you at peace. There's the Theta server, Highland City Dun Loyag, which means Weaver Guardian, a city protected by sprites with buildings made of rocks coexisting with nature. The wind will challenge the adventurers on their quest. Oh, uh, I don't know what that... I don't know what that uh, group letter is. But then the next server is Cultural City Carmina Gadalica, which means Song of the Gale. It is a metropolis, a fusion of science and traditional culture and all the cultural knowledge. And then the Sigma server, Aerial City Fort Oak, which means Fort of the Elves. It originated as a fort built in preparation for a war with Carmina Gadalica. The 
uh, since the peace agreement is acted as a watchtower. And then the Omega server, Relic City Leathail, which means Stone Des Destiny. The city was holy ground for the Tart Tartaga people for the Great War, but it was destroyed by the Carmina Gadalica forces, which did not like the idea. It's recommended to be in the Delta server when your level is low. And for this game, Dot Hack Infection, we're only going to be going to the Delta and the Theta servers. The later games will deal with this server and the Sigma and the Omega servers. And then this explains uh, an update to the world. about monsters taking less damage if there's a group with certain and if you do certain physical magical attacks elemental attacks that that the monster's weak to will take double damage and you may attain different items depending on the type of treasure chest many items are now available at the god statue This allows us to save the game, which I'll go ahead and not overwrite that one. That's actually that's actually my first playthrough from uh, months ago. I'm gonna leave that be. Overwrite this one. An audio player. This allows us to change the music of the desktop if I feel like it, and it also allows me to watch movies, but I have to beat the game to do so. This allows us to change our backdrop. We can go orange, red, or blue. We can unlock more backdrops as we play the game. And we got the news. Which this gives us a little glimpse of the outside world of this game. So this first article goes on about uh, a train. No traffic light controlling, okay. You can predict the best timing at rail railway stops. And this one details how the world has hit 20 million players. Sales of the online role-playing game The World have exceeded 20 million copies worldwide. The game was first online first online game released since the Twilight of the New Gods incident. It sold 10 million copies in its first six months and has steadily grown in sales through various upgrades. There are around 10 million users in Japan alone. CC Corporation has its press release stated, We are grateful to support, but also feel that there's a social obligation that we must meet. And according to a source, they are considering a submission to the King's Book of World Records for the highest selling game in history. <laughs> this one goes on about a neuro goggle. A little future reality headset compatible with the world. Maximum 100 hour consecutive use using an iron battery. battery. Light rate, weight with a rainbow eye coating. This one details about how a chat feature is, uh, has a 0.49% error rate. World Network Council announced today that the market penetration of the network OS Ultimate has reached almost 100% around the globe. This means that all network computer terminals and homes businesses are now compatible with Ultimate. Public relations stated that the Pluto Kiss incident of December 2005, and a two-year period following the incident, commonly known as the Twilight of the New Gods, is now only a page in history. What this details is that uh, prior to the events of Dot Hack Sign, uh, all the computers in the world got infected with a ter terrible virus called Pluto Kiss, but only computers that ran Ultimate were not affected. So then the government was like, oh, let's just make all the computers have this OS then so we don't have to worry about the virus again. And that, that, that was that. <laughs> but then, but then uh, months later, after everything got all ultimate uh, a game called the world then came out and that probably raised an eyebrow or two 
I like how this news feature has an ad for Tailhawn Charito. I never played. I think I, I think I remember playing a demo version of this, but uh, don't think I've ever played the full game. The mail that allows us to look at our mail, and this allows us to play the world, which is an MMORPG in this game. Start start by looking at the board. This basically gives us a written tutorial about uh, certain things about the game. Oh, hey, Tripley Hat. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it. And yeah, dot hack. I've been meaning to... Oh, I've, I've been wanting to save this until I got a couple more viewers, but I'm getting bored. <laughs> I want to play an RPG. And I'm kind of itching to play this again. This details how their skills and stuff. Basically how skills work in this game is that as you equip weapons and armor, you, you gain skills, and the skills are tied to the weapons and the armor, so by mix and matching your uh, equipment, you can use a wide variety of skills. And of course, those skills use up SP or skill points. As it says here, skills are based on equipment and not characters. So you change the equipment, you can't use said skill unless the new equipment has that skill. And there's also skills that, that uh, certain characters can't use. Or one or the other, yeah. Skills with range and range attack or something like that because they have area effects. And yeah, and then there's the parameters that are on the, the equipment to begin with. Defense and evade. Defense lessens damage you receive and evade is the frequency you get hit. If you increase spirit, then you have a higher chance of resisting curse, sleep, confusion, and charm. And if you increase body, you have a higher resistance of re resisting poison, paralysis, and slowdown. And then there's various elements in the game. There's six of them. And every enemy is tied to an element. So if you use a certain element on a certain enemy, you may do more damage or they'll take less damage, or they'll even heal them. So for example, if you cast Vac Dawn on a magical goblin that doesn't do much damage, it's another spell. And then here's the chart. <laughs> what wood is strong against earth, thunder is strong against darkness, and fire is strong against... Well, no, that's not... Yeah. How does that work? Probably goes hand in hand, I think. Like if a wood, like you can use a wood against earth, but you can also use earth against wood. So yeah, so yeah, kind of like how that works. Oh, I wasn't done there. And yeah, and certain classes can only use certain armors. Going into dungeons in this game works is that you have to go to a chaos gate in the root town and then you have to put in three, uh, I think three uh, words. And depending on the arrangement of those words and what those words are, you can go to like a low level dungeon or you'll end up in a high level dungeon or something like that. And you can also have up to two other people in a party. Here's one example of one of those words. If you start a, if you start a dungeon with the word chronicling, you'll be able to do a, a, what would be called a, a time rush or something like that, a, where you have to go through a, a dungeon as fast as possible. 
Which, yeah, because if you get to the end of it, you'll find a Zate statue instead of a God statue. And these are the current times. So yeah, so basically you 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 need to you need to try to beat two minutes. <laughs> And this one's detailing about the RTCS system that uh, we read about in the news article just a while ago. <sighs> just too many idiots on the road, just get rid of them. Apparently, yeah, apparently they're complaining that the train has too many cars or something, or the road does. This person saying that they they played the world two years ago and they still remember how it felt when they first entered a dungeon. And this one's this person's thinking of buying the new neuro goggle that we read about. Here's some more explanation about the keywords. Inner should only be concerned with the level of the area. Sample word, part A, if it starts with bursting, then the difficulty will be suitable for beginners. Of course, this guy this person's complaining that uh, even though they use that word, the enemies were still too strong. This one details Grunties, which are the uh, mount animal in the game, similar, similar to Chocobos in Final Fantasy. We don't have to worry about Grunties until we reach uh, the Delta Surfer, though, so... It's mo mostly some uh, quick reading. They're kind of a cross between a pig and a cow of that sort. explains this, this spring of mist which is a random uh, thing you can find in areas where if you throw an item into it uh, a creature will come out of it and it'll ask you if you drop a silver axe or a gold axe and if you say neither then they may upgrade or downgrade your uh, the item that you threw in in some in most cases it's the only way to get certain uh, weapons and armor and there are two varieties of them. There's Monsieur and uh, Grandpa. Grandpa can do uh, the higher level items, while Monsieur can do like level one, level two, level three. Of course, you can also get Golden Axe and Silver Axe from them, which can be useful trade items. You can also sell them too. This one's going on about how the Golden Axe can be a useful trading item. This one explains how they did it, how they did a, a whole bunch of trades with people until they eventually got a Megiddo wand. up to three types of items and up to 99 each <laughs> this one details symbols when you go into a into a field area there'll be uh, symbols scattered scattered about and you can trigger them to get buffs and then this further details the uh, the up uh, the recent updates to the world physical tolerance Magic tolerance. And then examples of how you can cancel the tolerance so you can continue to do more, more damage. So like for example, if a monster has water element to tolerance, you can you can decrease it by using Decrium or Water Bane. Pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> This explains elemental hit and how the elements work. Wood, 
Wood and Earth are opposite Thunder Darkness and Water Fire. For, so, for example, if a Water Element skill is used on a Fire Element attribute, Elemental Hit will confer, occur, and conversely, and the opposite happens too. Players cannot receive Elemental Hits, only monsters can. Which is nice. And this explains about the uh, items. Items can be obtained by breaking objects, which you mostly get HP recovery, cure, and element attribute to increase items. All treasure boxes are usually magic scrolls, which are relating to elements that are related to the area. Then there's the risky treasure boxes, which you have to disarm which will have a trap and you have to disarm them. Which from there. From those, you can get armor, weapons, and occasionally SP recovery items. And then from the Gaunt statue, which is a which is a chest found at the end of the dungeon, can get you valuable weapons and armor and some rare items too. You can get a maximum of three items. All right, so enough of that. Let's log in. Aqua Capital Mac Anu. Kite. Hey, you made it. There's Orca or Yasuhiko. <laughs> uh. Hey, it's me, Orca, the Blade Master. Whoa! You look so different from the real Yasuhiko. Uh. Nothing like the real you. Hey, in this game, I'm Orca. Regardless of what I am in reality, I'm pretty well known here. He actually means that too. He, he's actually one of the strongest characters in the server, in the game itself. Because in a, in a, uh, in, in one of the novels before the anime, him and another character named Balmung, they managed to defeat some enemy that couldn't be defeated, and by doing so, they received titles. Orca is known as uh, of the Azure Sea, while Balmung is known as of the Azure uh, Sky, and they're pretty well-respected characters in the game. What? No, you look great. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> anyway, take this. We now have Orca's member address. Member address is the flash mail address you can only access in the world. With flash mail, you can exchange messages with others in real time, as long as you are in the world. It's mostly used by newbies contact other players to form a party. Try it out by inviting me to join your party. First, press the triangle button to open the menu. In the menu, select party. Next, select add. Names of players who gave you their member addresses will be listed here. Choose a player you want to invite to your party and send a flash mail. Since you just started, you probably only have my member address. Now, do. press the X button twice to send a flash mail to me. Ah, got it. Join my party. It's kind of weird mailing each other when we're face to face. Hmm. So as you can see, Orca's see? stats are quite My name impressive. appears under your screen. That means I'm in your party. By the way, flash mail is only available when you're in a town. Oh. And you can't contact people when they're not logged into the world. People do have a life, you know. We're not online 24-7. In other words, you can't always count on the same members to form a party. So, try to get as many member addresses as you can. You'll have more fun that way. Well, how you play is up to you. But since EXP and stuff isn't divided among party members, you really don't benefit if you go solo. Okay. Well, why don't we head off? There's nothing to worry about. I found a perfect place for newbies. This is the Chaos Gate. A sort of transfer device that takes us from one place to another. Now, press the X button. In the world, each play zone is called an area, determined by a combination of three keywords. Select New... This is the keyword screen. At the top is the entry plate, which is this stuff right here. 
you put the three selected keywords one by one for each part, A, B, and C. Left of the entry plate is all the keywords you have. You can collect more of them by reading your emails, the board, and from other players. Now, let's enter some keywords by starting with part A. Select bursting from the list. Good. Next for part B, select passed over. For the last one in part C, select aqua field. Now you're done specifying the area. That's what these three words will get us. We're going to uh, a level one area and the dominant element is wood. I'm not really sure what all this stuff here means. It probably just means what we're expecting here, like field type, dungeon will have, I assume, assume that many floors or something like that. Oh, one more thing. You see the symbol on the left next to the keyword? That's the server symbol. It indicates which server you are currently logged on to. Which right now we're on Delta. This symbol is Delta, so we're logged on to the Delta server. The list on the bottom right is the area status list. Ah, this, this here. See the jewel next to the field type and dungeon? That indicates how the selected keyword affects the status. Ah. For example, check the field type. See the jewel on the right? Talk about this red one. This means that the field type is being determined by aqua field, the ah. keyword in C. A, B, C, okay. We don't know what kind of field the current keyword will create until we get there. But once we learn the effect of that keyword, we can combine it with other keywords effectively. For more details, check out the board on your own time. All right. Let's get going to the Delta Bursting Passed Over Aqua Field. Select. If you haven't figured out by now, we're kind of in a, in a tutorial. Orca's telling us the basics of dungeoneering and whatnot. Before we get going, let me explain to you about the camera control. During the game, enemies will attack from all directions. The idea is to adjust your view quickly to see your enemy and grasp the situation. I'll explain more later, but remember, you can only use skills on targets you can see. Basically, if you don't use the camera right, you'll be dead before you know it. First, rotate the camera. Push either the L1 button or the R1 button to move the camera. Good. Next, let's zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom the camera in or out by using the right analog stick. Try it. Yeah. Finally, you reset the camera by pushing the R2 button. There you go. Okay. And this is the field. It's the lowest level in the area. When you want to return to the town, press the triangle button and select Gate Out from the menu. Grassland, Wilderness, and Jungle are some of the field types. You can set them with keywords. The combination of field type and weather determines the area elements. For example, if it's a grassland and it's raining, that area will be a water element state. The elements also affect the type of monsters that will appear and the items you can get. Don't worry about it now. As you get used to it, combine words to get different elements. Now, let's get going on our quest. First, check the map at top right. You see the red down arrow on it? That's the gate to the dungeon. In the dungeon's deepest level, there's a got statue that usually holds a rare item. Basically, the goal is to reach this statue. But enemies are often tougher down there. So gain some levels above ground before you head below. Okay, wait a sec. He just used a fairy sword, which reveals a, a bunch of stuff on the map. By using the fairy orb, hidden data on the map becomes visible, like this. Yellow areas on the map show magic portals, where you encounter monsters and treasures. We've got one right in front of us. All right. How about we go pick a fight? Head for one of the magic portals. Try using a bit. 
basic attack to defeat some monsters. Press the triangle button to open the menu, and select skill. Okay then. Choose Rep from the list. When the target cursor appears, select the target and press the X button to execute. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? Rep is a, is a basic healing ability. You can target a party member for recovery or remedy skills, and the enemy for attack skills. Remember, you can only apply skills to targets within your view. Before using a skill, adjust the camera so that your target comes into view. Well, you must be sick of me at this point. I doesn't. I kinda am. It's your turn to tell me what to do by using chat commands. Okay, I'll teach you the command to get your members to heal. Okay then. Next, go ahead and choose first aid from the menu. Well, it's good to be the boss, isn't it? Yeah, well, that, that, that's what you get for being a legendary, well-known player. You, people come up to you and ask for advice and help. Of course, he's, help, he, he's helping Kite here because they're friends outside of, of the game. If you use it well, you can bunch up on the enemy or give separate orders to each party member. When you add new members to the party, Try various chat commands to see their effects. That's it for now. Just remember what you learned. Start exploring. When you think you're ready, we'll head for the dungeon. Now we have. Now we get, got back control. So on the map we got three uh, magic portals. That's the uh, sp spring that we read about on the board. We don't have, don't really have to worry about that, and that's the dungeon. Orca can one-shot these things because he's he's such a high level. Like I don't want that. Status, yeah. We're only at level one. And there's Orca. He's level 50. He's not gonna get any EXP from this. <laughs> he's got all these skills. He's got some pretty sweet items on him. Level 11 weapon. Level 76 hat. 69 armor. Oof. Yeah, he's got some sweet stuff. All us? Nope, we got level 1. 1 stuff. Level 2 hat. Armor, gloves, and shoes. But yeah, again, the... The skills and abilities are tied to equipment, so with these amateur rail plays, we can use the ability Saber Dance, which allows us to continuously slash at high speed. Our hat's giving us the Rep ability, and the Leather Armor gives us Fat Cruise, which allows us to use a fire attack. The gloves don't have anything, and the uh, shoes don't have anything. And one neat thing is that uh, EXP is always locked to a thousand, so once we get a thousand points, then we get a level up. Yeah, so, so um, basically the idea is to fight stronger enemies so you get more EXP to level up. And a uh, kite is a twin blade, which is one of the classes in the game. Uh, think of it as like an assassin or a thief class. He's called these. They're called that based on their weapons. So as you can see, Kite's got two daggers going on there. Whereas Orca is a blade master. They sp they specialize in uh, mostly swords. Right, let's go. We'll take on the rest of these enemies so Kite gets himself some more EXP. Spring. The 
spring and mist. This spring has a strange feel. Maybe I should throw in a weapon or a piece of armor. Don't think we got anything. Whenever you want me to do something, use the chat command. Because I don't think we got anything that we can use or throw in. Yeah, we don't. We just got health drinks, antidotes, restoratives. Pretty much five of every item. Alright. And on to the dungeon. server, but uh, it doesn't hurt to farm up the grunty food. Alright, let's head into that dungeon now. Now we can start exploring the dungeon. Oh boy. One thing you need to remember is that you can't gate out when you're in a dungeon. To gate out, Return to the town. You have to go back to the field. The Sprite Ocarina will warp you to the surface, but you can't use it during battle. This is the treasure box, but you knew that, right? You should know that there are two types of treasure boxes normal and booby trap. This one's normal. Hit the X button to open it. This one's booby trapped. Notice a different color? Try to open it as is, and you're screwed. Just use the fortune wire on it. This item will disarm the trap. See? Now it's safe to open. Press the X button to open it. There we go, now we have control. Uh, fun fact about the booby-trapped uh, chests, if you actually open one while without disarming the trap, you'll, uh, you'll usually get a debuff or you might take damage or something like that. But but the chest will give you a fortune wire. Which then you can use that on the next movie charm chest. See that? Yep. Yeah. Was that thing chasing her? Yeah, but something like that on this level? Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh that's the exit. We're, we're gonna go to the left first. Better 
Watch out! We're trapped in here! In the dungeon, there are rooms with traps everywhere. The only way to get out of a trap like this is by activating all the magic portals in the room. All right, let's charge to that magic portal. Once you get an orca one shots it. Palace of the Dead got inspiration from it. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Cool, this goes to the next level. Twin blade, a long arm, and a wave master can't equip this headgear, so it's completely useless to me. I could give it to Orca, but he already has superior gear. Let's check out this dungeon, this room here. This is the room where the statue is. Ah, got statue. There's only one of them at the dungeon's deepest level, and you can get rare items from it. That's enough adventure for now. Let's grab the treasure and get back to town, shall we? If we had a Sprite Oak Arena, we could warp out of here. But we don't have one. <clears throat> so we gotta go back the way we just came. Whose idea was that, Orca? Open this up. We now have steel blades. Along with uh, two rainbow cards. The rainbow cards we can either sell or trade to other players. Cool. The steel blades gives us more damage. But of course, as you notice here, if I equip the steel blades, I'll lose Saber Dance, but I'll gain the ability Tiger Claws. And then there's all the parameters here, like the attack accuracy. So if I re-equip the... By equipping the steel blades, I gain this ability, lose that, and I gain some attack accuracy and magical accuracy. Check out the. Oh, it's gonna do it automatically. Okay. <laughs> oh. That's not good. Or was the rumor true? Take this. Huh? Please take this. There's no time. Please. What's this? A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. Your... It's coming. Run. 
It'll kill you! What the hell? What is this? Something wrong. Nothing works! System error. Oh, that's the end of the stream. wrong with Yasuhiko? Why was he upset? I wanted to ask him, but he wouldn't even pick up the phone. And then? The next day, I found out that Yasuhiko had been hospitalized. I rushed to the hospital, but they wouldn't even let me see him. But I guess it's better this way. I didn't want to see him all week, and he wouldn't want that either. But what the hell happened to him? I have a feeling that the key to it is somewhere in the world. And Kite's got the right punch on that. What actually happened to Orca is that he got data drained and got thrown into a coma in the real world. Why, we will find out by playing this game. Mail from CC Corp about server problems. Currently finding a cause of it, but to proceed efficiently, efficiently, they're going to limit to the Delta and Theta servers. So that's the reason why we can't go to the other servers, is because the the system admins are forbidding it until they get things get the kinks worked out. Else, no updates on the news. We'll probably save at this point, though. The only other reason is to go back into the world. No new things on the board. Thank you for visiting the world. All services are currently unavailable to maintenance. Oh. I should post on the board about Yasuhiko. Maybe someone will respond to it. Worth a try. My friend is in a coma after playing this game. He's hospitalized and still isn't out yet. But do you do these things actually happen? Does anyone know the reason? Anyone know someone else in the same state? How can I get him out of the coma? The people who made the game look here too, right? Please give me some kind of information. Thank you. Go. No other changes. Only changes the post that we did. And all we can do is leave the leave the world and see if we get some mail or something. Oh, we 
this meal. Oh. This meal's full of gibberish. See the word book. This looks like please help me. There's the word time. Based on the blurry picture, it looks like that girl that we ran into in that dungeon probably sent it. Who sent this? I can't read it. Try to get back into the world then. We can log back in. So there's that. She'll be a somewhat important character later on. Let's get my gear first. I want to collect some information as well. There we go. Now we can explore Mac Anu. This game pretty much simulates an MMORPG, so as we're in the root town, you can see other players walking around and uh, talking and such. The group right there. We can interact with them too. We can talk to them and we can also do like trades and stuff with them. Here, in it. Yeah, we can save our uh, progress in this area. Like uh, great swords. 
Heavy axe makes the same idea as uh, heavy blade, but they use axes. Long arms use uh, poles and staffs, staves, I mean. Well, wave masters are the uh, magic users, more or less. A any class can use magic depending on what they have equipped. Can't 
died Orca. He's sadly in a coma, which is a shame because he has 56,000 gold, which we could really use. <laughs> Okay, here I come! Now while she's in our party, let's take a look at her equipment. Wow, she already has the headgear that we picked up earlier. Alright, so we'll go to the word list. This is where we're just at with Orca, and this is what we just got now from Black Rose. We're gonna go there, it's a level 6 area. This place is actually rather significant in uh, Dot Hack Sign. A lot of events happen in this particular field in the anime. Whoa, this place is. Huh? Never mind, let's go. Well, are you going to escort me like a proper gentleman? <laughs> It's a, it's a pretty empty place. It's supposed to. Have, oh yeah, there is water down there. Yeah. All it has is this, this uh, hallway with a church in the middle. And that, yeah, and as I said earlier, this this very field is uh is featured quite heavily in the anime. Dot hack sign. So we're gonna step inside. Goblin. Oh no! <sighs> so that's it. Pretty weak, huh? <laughs> what do you know? You didn't even need my help at all, did you? <laughs> Kite slide. Now that's not there in the anime. Statue. It looks so. Yep. Scathe, Enus, Magus. I can't read anything else. The inscription is faded. By the way, uh... Hmm? I guess you can tell that I'm a newbie too. Yeah, it I must be pretty care. obvious by the way I acted back there. But you still hung out with me. You know what? You're nicer than I thought. <laughs> you see, I'm... I'm trying to find... Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, what? Balmung. What about you, huh? No time to explain. It's too dangerous here! What? I'm telling you to get out! Oh. Leave here at once! something the book open the book the book the power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user if 
can now use the Book of the Twilight, which is that book that absorbed into us earlier. Core M. That was like the... Like the time when Orca... <sighs> that skill. Now, I understand. You are the same as the virus. To think that I was saved by someone like you. No! That's not... I don't even know what's... Do not lie to me! Recently, many places within the world have been damaged by a virus. Those who willfully spread the virus and destroy this world for their own amusement, they... They shall receive no mercy. No, that's not me, I... I did not expect to find the one responsible so soon. Draw! Draw your sword, now! I won't! There's no reason to do that! There is for me. No! I don't want to fight! I just... I... Oh, what is the matter with you? Hmm. That's hardly the way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Hmm. I still do not trust you. I just require the time to think this through. But if I find out that you are indeed in with them, I will kill you. That was rather childish for Balmonk of the Azure Sky, the descendant of Fianna. I do not speak with hackers. <laughs> that boy, he's a friend of your partner. Orca? would end up like Orca, and... and I panicked. That's when I heard her voice. It was the voice of the girl who gave the book to Orca. I see. But what are you going to do if the data bug shows up again? That power put your friend... Um, sorry. I don't even know what this power is. Or what she wanted Orca to do. And what am I supposed to do with... this power? All I want to do is help Orca. Threads. He's got a new ability. 
the guy in the white with the wings that was Balmung of the Azure Sky, who is uh, Orca's partner. He actually made an appearance in the in one of the later episodes in the Dawn Hack Sign anime. And uh, the woman, the hacker woman, that was Helba. She uh, she plays a big role in this game, but all, but she also made an appearance in the Dawn Hack Sign as well. It's time to save, and I'm probably going to end the stream for now, because it is getting late, and I've sadly got work tomorrow. So, we'll hop off here. Log out. Oh, there's new messages on the board. Tony, the Golden Goblin Gob. If you win tag against me, I'll give you a reward. Oh, we got some words. Detestable Golden Sunny Demon. If we go there, we'll meet an enemy called a Golden... A Golden Goblin. And if we can manage to defeat them, then we get uh, some weak armor. But I've read that if you can collect all the pieces of it, it, it gives you a powerful ability. Ooh. The message we posted got deleted. The message I posted is deleted. Mm. Oh dear. Let's log back onto here. We got mail, and there's also an update to the news. understand it, but I will believe you. I'm actually really busy, but I'll help you when I have the time, so call me up. We'll say thanks. And then here's Helba. She she explains the ability that we just obtained called Data Drain. When the spread is at 100%, there may be a lethal side effect to your character, so be aware of the spread of the viral infection. Deep defeat monsters with the data drain, the spread will... Oh, if you defeat monsters without using data drain, then the spread will decrease. Just don't let it go above 100%. Another warning, you are always being watched. Though you may not wish it, you will be the eye of the storm in the world. That is the fate of the one who bears the bracelet. She knows about my bracelet! Who is she? called The World for Idiots is coming out. That's good. Alright, we'll do another save here. And that's gonna be it for the stream, because I'm gonna I want to play something else before I have to force myself to go to bed. So uh let's see here. Oh cool. Tribly's still here. Thank you very much for sticking around, uh Tribly, appreciate it. I think I'll be doing a stream tomorrow night because I will have work on uh, Sunday. I don't have, I won't have, probably won't have enough time to do a stream, but there will be a stream on on Sunday where I might continue on in this, might continue on in some other games, might start a new game. Don't know. We'll find out. Until then, uh, thank you all for tuning in. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in, you all have a good night.